right, guys, just doing a pancake breakfast. Took the little RV out. I'll get some video on the way back. But uh, flew over to Poplar Grove near Rockford, Illinois. And uh, we got a lot going on. A lot of cubs. Looks like we've got an old T6 over there, maybe. People coming and going. A little cloudy here. Clouds were 700 feet, so we had to wait a while for it to clear up. But uh, now, over the field, it's 2,500. Looking pretty nice. So we'll try and check out some airplanes. Just a Saturday morning, got a call from a buddy, said there's a pancake breakfast, and that's uh, that's all we need is a purpose, somewhere to fly to. So pancake breakfast gives us a uh, reason to fly our plane. Man, that plane looks kind of ready. <laughs> Anyways, oh, got a sighting here. We got a 177, one of the best all-around airplanes ever. Not everybody knows about them. We know about them, though. Get a shot of this guy going by. Roll cup. Maybe that's nicer than I thought it was. Pioneer 300 JS. I don't know what this is. Pretty cool. Looks something in the neighborhood of an RV. Here comes this guy, the guy I flew up here to meet. Grass like a boss. I don't doubt it. That is so cool. So what kind of instruments he has. Garmin 530, KX 155 radio and some G5s. That'll get the job done. Pretty cool. He's got a number on the back, number nine, like he's a racer. Pretty cool. Okay, we got Cubs, T6, Piper Arrow, Luscum, RV6A. Ultimate plane. Another Cub 177. We got a Cessna 120. Cessna 172. Oh, wah, wah. The least interesting airplane here. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. Oh, yeah, check out that RV. Pretty nice, huh? 
amazing. I'm gonna be so disappointed when they see my VFR panel. Beautiful day though. Poplar Grove, you come out by Rockford, Illinois. And it's the second Saturday of every month you come and have pancakes. It's 10 bucks, you get to see a lot of cool airplanes. C77 is the identifier, right by Rockford, Illinois. Got another oldie coming in. High wing Cessna. Cessna 140. All right. See if I get yelled at anymore. Spins. That should be good for about 15 minute flight. Oh, so close. Yeah, he's using the leg and everything. There we go. What happens when you don't have an electrical system or a starter? You got a hand prop. I've never hand prop We're going to uh, take a video of John starting up this airplane here. I do believe it's gonna be a challenging start because he's got some sort of uh, funny fangled battery in there that really isn't designed for this. I think it's- And I can edit out everything you're saying, you know? Pretty sure it's for a snowblower or something, the battery. It might be one of those batteries that you put in your RC field box that you start RC planes with, but we're gonna give it a shot here. It's about the amperage, not about the watts or something, right? that strange look on his face, it helps it turn over better. Oh, he's a funny man for sure. No, I, I did just put a new battery in the RV, but I think I've got some corrosion on some connectors or something, so I gotta have that looked at. So here's us flying formation back, real grainy, just a cell phone video. And this guy, you know, that's doing the cell phone, he's a cheap airline pilot, so he's got like an iPhone, I think, Four, and this is as good as it's going to get. But that is me off the wing tip flying by. When I pull it back to about 2200 RPM, I can go about 135 knots and, and slow down to keep up with his uh, his meager little arrow. Anyways, this is me flying around again. I having a dub in the sound here later because I didn't bring my GoPro. This doesn't transfer. Well. This is, you know, 50, 55 degree banks left to right. And this plane is really sharp, it's really fun doesn't translate well when you bring it to video. It just doesn't. <laughs> I mean, it looks like nothing at all, but if you're in the plane, you definitely feel a couple Gs, have some fun. Oh, just saw an airplane, there he is. I'm four flight, he's ready, 700 feet above me, right in front of me to the right. So if I look up, there he is. Man, this ADSB is a lifesaver, it's just great. Granted, he's 700 feet above me, but close enough if I did some kind of loop or a, a extreme maneuver, he could be an issue. So not all planes have it. You still have to keep looking around, but when it works, it sure is nice. Look at the daytime, the day we have here though, just a beautiful cloudy day, kind of diffuses the light. And in a bubble canopy airplane, you know, keeps it relatively cool. You know, it starts getting summertime, it gets hot fast, especially down here, I'm at about 2000 feet. Spin it back around, giving you the view of the cockpit a little bit. Really loving this RV. I mean, when, especially when you're by yourself, you got all the room on the seat next to you just to put your iPad, your phone, your anything you want, you know, some lunch. It's a great little plane. There's there's a reason why this is the number one selling experimental plane in history. It's just a great, economical, fast little airplane. So pointing out my little airport is if you could see it there and all the bumps, just flying along. 
So on the way back, I flew over to my neighbor's house and she ran outside and took a little video. I'm going about 180 miles an hour here, so it's kind of hard to keep me in frame. And I don't stay there long. I zip right by and we're gone. All right, so here's me coming back in. I just kind of pushed my cell phone up onto the windscreen. So it's not a very stable platform. As you'll see, when I touch down, the phone's gonna fall, but it's just kind of balancing up there. Here's runway 13 at our home airport. This is the runway Maddie soloed on. This is the view going back a few years. She came in on finally. You can tell there's a little bit of wind off the left-hand side, but now I'll put a little rudder in, straighten it out. The last second here, you pilots, you'll see I just kind of drop right here. Boom, had a big sinker there, which is pretty common. Added a little power, holding it off, holding it off. As soon as I touch down, with the nose high, the camera's gonna fall off. All right, guys, got the old golf cart here coming back to the hangar. You guys have seen where the 177 lives. This is where the RV lives. It's a little bit of a hassle because I gotta move this golf cart this old truck, the old Ford, a Piper Cub. Then I get my RV out. Then I gotta move all the three other vehicles back in. So she's kind of buried right now, making a little, a little interesting, but check out this truck. Very nice. Look at that interior. Pretty pristine. A little patina here, but that's all was done on purpose, I think, to make it look aged. Nice old Ford. And here's the RV, tucked away. All right, so that was it. Went out for breakfast, goofed around with my buddy, did a little formation flying. I didn't get a good video of that. I don't know why, I didn't bring my GoPro again. <laughs> so, sorry, you're getting a cell phone video. That's what's going on. Uh, Maddie's coming back in town next week. So hopefully uh, do a little flying with her maybe in the RV. She hasn't even been in it yet. So get a video of that. Maybe we'll call it Maddie Flies the RV. So, Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll try and get some more flying content up soon. I'm on vacation this week, so got time to do a couple videos. Thanks.